Hello, hope you all doing good. So I'm Otman uh, from DOP. I'm the co-founder and CTO of DOP, the first uh, fully on-chain order book-based uh, option exchange. And uh, I'm here to talk about uh, on-chain order books, derivatives market using ZK. So DOP stands for Decentralized Options and Perpetual Protocols. And it's here to tackle some three main points that we have seen in the option space in DeFi and blockchain in general. Uh, first of all, centralization. Uh, more than 90% of the market share of options are in Deribit. So we all know this, the problems um, of having only one actor, even if it's centralized, but having only one centralized actor that have more than 90% of uh, vi uh, vital markets for all the blockchain. Uh, second, capital inefficiency. We have seen the first wave of options project in blockchain, uh, which were the DOVs. Uh, basically, it's vaults selling some call and put options with a special pricing, etc. But they are over collateralized. And you, as you all may know, uh, when you trade the uh, over collateralized option, it doesn't make uh, any sense. You can just trade spot or perps in this case. And finally, like lack of composability. So one of the biggest strengths of blockchain and especially DeFi is the composability. Uh, coming from a traditional finance background, uh, composability does not exist. Uh, even in the same bank or in the same hedge fund, uh, teams won't cooper cooperate because of processes, politics, etc. So the word composability doesn't even exist. And in DeFi, it's different. Uh, you can take uh, Uniswap LP tokens and do whatever you want with them. You can just take uh, LP tokens and build uh, perpetual options on top of them, etc. So we need to leverage this. Uh, so as I said, DOP stands for Decentralized Options and Perpetual Protocol. Right now, we are currently focusing on options. We will integrate in the near future of perhaps also. So what is unique about uh, DOP is that it has everything on chain. Order book, margin system, liquidation system, etc. So we have uh, everything on chain. Uh, we are as capital efficient as most of the centralized exchanges with the same aggregated uh, margin system. And uh, we are also working on a more uh, optimized portfolio margin. Uh, for composability, as I said, options, basically they are just contracts, uh, standard contracts. So we need this standard also in the DeFi space. And that's what we are trying to build. We are building this first layer of liquidity, this standard layer of options. And uh, under the hood, they are just ERC-20s with some metadata like the option type, maturity date, and the strike price. So what we are trying to, to bring is this for liquidity layer based on an order book for more professional players. And we also, by leveraging the native account abstraction, we are trying to bring some kind of stra vanilla strategies uh, like uh, long straddle, short straddle, in a one single click uh, using account abstraction. So this is just a combination of multiple options. For example, when you are long volatility, you just long call and put option with the same strike price. So you are long volatility. We want to bring this to retail without uh, having to understand how does option works, etc. So what we are building is more than just a DEX. What we are trying to build is a uh, whole derivatives ecosystem. Uh, as I said, we are building this liquidity layer, the first layer, and we want people to come and build on top of DOP. We want they take options and use them in different protocol. We want them to, to build structured product, exotics, etc. So uh, this architecture maybe might change due to some recent uh, decisions. Uh, 
Uh, normally, DOP should be deployed on a app chain, on a L3 app chain using Madara, etc. But uh, meanwhile, uh, Madara is not yet ready. Maybe we will go on mainnet, uh, just uh, waiting to, to have Madara so that we can go uh, and be deployed on Madara. Why, why do we need options in, in the DeFi and blockchain in general? So there is a lot of example I can give, uh, but mainly first uh, to hedge. Uh, we will have thousands of app change, but uh, they're all exposed to it. They all need to settle in Ethereum. So they all need to pay gas fees. And they need this kind of instrument to hedge themselves. To hedge, their, uh, to hedge their costs. We also want to bring uh, uh, family offices, hedge funds. They need to find some product that already exists in traditional finance. For example, here we have a structured product. How does it work? It's a, what we call a zero coupon bond. Uh, you can see it as a, as a bond that you buy with a discount, and this discount you buy options, at the end you have your initial capital which is safe, and you have the option if it's in the money, so you make money. We're trying to do the same thing uh, using the DeFi. And here we're also showing the power of composability. For example, with Pendle and Angle, or we can take an LRT, we can have a zero coupon by separating yield from the base token, uh, having the yield paid upfront, this yield that have been paid upfront, you buy a, a strategy or call or put option, and at the maturity date, your initial capital is safe, and you have an option or a strategy. If it makes money, it's okay. If it doesn't, you don't lose anything, but you are exposed to the market, but, and your initial capital is safe. It cannot uh, go below. How uh, is it possible with ZK? How is it possible today to have this kind of apps fully on chain, like order book, etc.? So we are at Starknet CC. I don't. I think all of you know these uh, these slides. But uh, having an order book on L1 doesn't make any sense. You cannot uh, execute an order book. Uh, each validator execute on all our It's completely no sense. So, you know, with ZK, you execute it once, and then you just verify it. So you have your ZK server, and then you compress all the computation. So this allows us to have these complex margin systems. This allows us to have uh, also order book on-chain. But this is not uh, everything, because putting everything on chain brings uh, new challenges to, to the equation. So you have to ingest all the events from the blockchain in real time, process them, uh, have a lot of computation made also off chain, because you need to have this order book, you have it on, on chain, but also you need to show it on your front end, on your API. So you need to run it also on the back end. So for this, with our expertise in Web2 and traditional finance, we designed the big microservices, uh, multi-microservices architecture. We have uh, multiple indexers using API, API Barra. We have a real-time ingester to ingest data through Kafka, etc., And we have some data processing microservices where we do all the compute, etc. So that our in our API and our front end, we have zero compute. So it can be as performant as possible. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, you can follow us on X, of course. And if you have some questions about DOP, just uh, you can raise your hand or. Thank you.